Hey biology students, I'm really excited to show you this algae sphere protocol that we're going to be doing in lab tomorrow. Um, the first thing I'm going to do uh, to get ready for this lab is I'm going to tie my hair back because my hair is getting pretty long these days so that it's not getting in my way because today is a lab day so we want to make sure our hair is out of the way. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my materials. So some things that you're going to need are a beaker for mixing your solutions together. And this is going to be a small beaker. You're going to need a tube of sodium alginate that I will provide for you. So this is going to be the clear jelly liquid. You want to avoid shaking it a lot because we don't want this to get lots of bubbles in it. You're also going to get a tube of algae cells, which I will provide to you. You're going to need a medium-ish beaker of water. doesn't matter how much. Just fill it up. And... You're going to need a large waste beaker and a strainer. And I'll show you what all of these things are for. The last thing you need is this device, which is called a serological pipette. This is the pipetter. This is the pipette. And the pipette is what we can use to draw up liquids in a carefully measured way. So I'm going to take my pipette. It's actually got some stuff in it, so let me clean that out really quick. you would be rinsing this out, but for the purpose of the demo, it's okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare my algae cells. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to draw up three milliliters of sodium alginate. And I'm going to put the tip of the pipette below the surface of the sodium alginate so that I don't draw air into my pipette and I'm going to slowly roll back on this as I draw up the solution. And the sodium alginate is very thick, so it's going to come up the pipette slowly. So you have to be patient. So draw a little bit, wait for it to come up, and then draw a little bit more. The pipette reads backwards. So I want three milliliters, so that means that I'm going to have to go to the number seven because this is a 10 milliliter pipette. So when it's at the 7, then that means there's 3 milliliters in the tip. So I'll show you. So I draw up slowly, and I keep the tip below the surface of the alginate so that I never draw up any air. And I let it rise. I draw up a little bit more. Ooh, I went a little too far, so I'm going to put a little bit. I'm going to draw back a little bit, keep it below the surface. All right, the level doesn't seem to be changing, so I seem to have 3 milliliters. So that looks pretty good. So I'm going to take that, and I'm going to put it in my mixing beaker. And I'm just going to draw, push up, up, up on the roller to expel the solution. And one thing you're going to notice is that this alginate doesn't like to come out. It's really, really, really thick. So what I like to do is, if I get a bunch stuck in the tip, I take the pipetter off, and I get some basically like I give it a little bit of room to push down, put it back on, and roll up again to expel. And that pushes more out. Take it off again, roll up a little bit, and roll up again to push it in and expel whatever's left in the tip. All right, and that should get most of it out. It's okay if there's a little bit of stuff left in here. Then I'm going to take an equal volume of algae. So we're doing a one-to-one -one ratio. So I'm going to take my algae cells and I'm going to draw up, let's see, three milliliters. There we go. Three milliliters. Notice it's at the seven. I didn't do the best job. I've got some bubbles in there because I had a little bit of alginate left. That's okay. So. Then, now I've got the two things in my mixing beaker, and I'm going to pipette up and down to mix them. You want the algae to be blended in with the alginate. We're trying to get a nice mix of algae cells and alginate. This is a protein that algae normally live with when they're in the ocean, so they're comfortable here. So we're going to mix them up, mix them up, mix them up, and then draw the solution up into your pipette. So I've got my solution drawn up into my pipette. 
It was three and three, so we should now have a total of six, which means that my pipetter should be at the four mark. And it's almost there. It didn't make it all the way because I didn't want to take up all the solution because um, I didn't want to have a bunch of bubbles. You'll notice I do have some bubbles, so I'm just going to give this a little minute to rise up to the top so that I don't have that bubble at the tip where I'm going to be doing my work. All right, so now in my pipette, I have an algae alginate solution, and I'm going to start making my spheres. And the way I do this is really simple. All I do is I take my pipette, and I take my calcium chloride, and I let the alginate algae mixture drip one drop at a time into the calcium chloride. So one drop, drop. And as soon as that droplet hits the CaCl2, it's going to immediately cross-link the alginate. The calcium ions will cross-link the sodium alginate. And what will happen is we will start to form a sphere. It's going to perfectly capture the shape of the droplet as it hits the water. So you're going to do this until every solution in your all the solution in your pipette is gone. I'm not going to do the whole thing because I want to make sure I, I can show you guys the procedure. So this will take a, this will take a couple minutes to get it all out there. Once you're done with that, someone in your group is going to need to go and rinse out your pipette, not the pipetter, but the pipette to get all the rest of like any residual alginate and algae mixture out of there. You want to get all that out. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to take our strainer and we are going to put it over our waste beaker. This is just for um, waste stuff we're not going to use anymore. I'm going to give my algae spheres five minutes to solidify in the calcium chloride. So we'll let them go. See? There you can uh, see them floating around in there. It's not very well focused, but you'll see in a second. So I'm going to take my CaCl2. We're going to pretend it's been five minutes. And I'm going to take this beaker and dump it into the strainer. And the strainer is going to capture my algae spheres. So there they are. Hello! You won't touch them with your hands. I'm going to give you guys forceps. But just so you guys can see, there's a couple little spheres. Hello! So my spheres are now in the strainer and I'm going to rinse them with some water. I want to get all that calcium chloride off so that they don't continue to harden um, until it starts to affect the algae. So I'm going to take some water and I'm just going to rinse them off a few times. And then I'm going to give you guys a container and you are going to transfer your spheres to the container uh, one at a time so you can count how many you have, which is going to help you when we do our experiment because you want to, we're going to have to split them up. So you want to know how many spheres you have. So you'll count those. Okay. In addition to making algae spheres, we also want to make spheres for our control. So this, the, um, the algae spheres are going to tell us what the algae is doing in different kinds of conditions. But we also want to make sure that um, the, the effects that we're seeing aren't caused by the spheres themselves. So to do that, we're going to make a control group. And what our control group is going to be is just algae, or sorry, sodium alginate. It's going to contain sodium alginate. It's going to contain a little bit of water. So we're going to do the same procedure again. Three mils of sodium alginate, three mils of just plain water, mix in the beaker, and then drop into the calcium chloride. When you do that, you are going to end up with spheres that are going to be really hard to see, actually, when you do the procedure, because they're going to be totally clear. So here's some one that I made. So when you're dropping it into the calcium chloride, you might not see it right away. But when you go and you dump your beaker into the strainer, you'll see that you have these little clear spheres. And you're going to do the same thing. So they'll be allowed to harden for five minutes in the calcium chloride. 
you'll put them in the strainer, you'll rinse them off, and then you'll count them and store them in a separate container so that we know how many control spheres you have for your control group. Cool. All right, after we do that, we're going to clean everything up. We're going to rinse out these pipettes really thoroughly. We're going to rinse out all of the beakers, and you're going to give me back any leftover sodium alginate and algae that you have. Uh, I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. This is going to be a really fun lab.